House Bill 337 deals with what we do if we, as a legislative body, finds an administrative regulation deficient. I think one thing that the sponsor may have not pointed out that's extremely important in your consideration of the vote of this bill. This bill starts a process in which the legislative body acts on a law. Understand that administrative regs, administrative regulations, are the law until we are back in session. The General Assembly cannot change a law while we are, in, while we are not in session in the interim. So when an administrative regulation comes before any committee during the interim period, and it goes to the other processes that are set up through uh, the laws that we have already passed that allow our administrative cabinets to enact laws, temporary laws, it is the law until the next session when we have a chance to change that law or enact that law completely and fully. So this process starts with, an admin, with an, a legislative committee finding an a administrative reg deficient. And if it's deficient, it goes through the process of what it needs to do to become a law, to become the law. And that process used to involve the ultimate, the person who executes the laws of the state, the governor. So now when we pass a, when an administrative regulation is passed and we find it as a committee that it's not, that it's deficient, the Attorney General will now have the final say. The Attorney General is not the ultimate executor of the state laws in the state government, it's the governor. This law, as is, will be found unconstitutional. It is a separation of powers issue, and we cannot give ourselves the power, as we do when we find an administration, administrative reg deficient, we will be given ourselves veto power over those administrative regs, and that is unconstitutional. And for that reason, Mr. Speaker, I will oppose this bill.